the Skyway Stage 3 open this morning. We are entering the Skyway here in Alabang and we're gonna ride it all the way through to Kevin City. It's like almost silent. If, if you wouldn't see like that we're moving, it would seem as if we were standing right now. 15 minutes from Makati. That is insane! 15 minutes from Makati to Kevin City, I'm so happy! <laughs> What is up guys, today is a very special day for us, for Makati, for Quezon City, for Metro Manila, for the Philippines. Today is a very special day because the Skyway Stage 3 opened this morning. And right now, Nelly and I, we came out to Alabang to experience the full beauty of the Skyway in its full glory. We are entering the Skyway here in Alabang and we're going to ride it all the way through to Quezon City. And we're going to time exactly how long it takes us from entering the Skyway to exiting. You know why this is so exciting? This opens up a whole new world for us because we've wanted to explore Quezon City far more than we have up to now. But every time going to Quezon City, you have to expect at least two hours going there and two hours coming back, which is four hours spent driving in traffic in total. But this new Skyway section is supposed to cut that down to 10 to 15 minutes. And I, I, I will only believe it once I see it. I'm gonna time this. I'm gonna check this. If this is really, if this is really the case, then I mean, there's so much we can do in Quezon City. There's so much we can explore. Going up north, get on the Skyway and you ride at the Enlex. You yeah. don't have to go through Etza and then also all these spots that we like to visit and explore around the Etza will become more accessible as well because it's decongestion. Mm -hmm. Because some traffic that needs to go through the whole of Manila will go onto the Skyway. It's so awesome. Let's see if it is so. Five seconds until we go. <laughs> This is so exciting. This is so exciting. Okay. Um, stopwatch, oh? Um, yeah. yeah. I think stop the stop. I'll do a stopwatch. Okay, here we go. ETC. It is. You will pass through. Yes. Oh. Use my card. Use my card. Yeah. It's right. 120. Thank you. Here we go. 120. Woo. Let's do this. Let's do this. I can think the timer. No. <laughs> okay. Now, I, what I want to be aware of is I want to stick to the speed limit to a T. I don't want to go like, because that would be cheating, right? Yeah. Going over the speed limit. Although and, you're and not the, supposed to go. And the legal. <laughs> <laughs> so we are sticking to the speed limits. And uh, so it's a 40 on ramps in the Philippines. Entrances to the Skyway are oh, speed limit of 40. Traffic! Yeah. So here's a fun story guys, the first few times we came to the Philippines obviously we'd always travel through Manila and we'd have a layover of one or two days in Manila and it would always take us a very long time to get from the airport to Makati until one day, it's probably like the fifth time that we visited the Philippines we ordered a grab and the grab driver says should we take the Skyway and I'm like what is a Skyway? <laughs> we don't have that in Austria and then we we said, he said, yeah, it's 80 times. So I'm like, sure, how much is it? It's like, oh, it's only like, I don't know what it was, like 35 pesos back then? Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, sure, let's do that. And then it literally took us like 10 minutes yeah. <laughs> instead of an hour. And we're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and it actually saves you money in the end because the the fares, I think it's always like distance and time, like the combination of those two. But if you're stuck in traffic in a taxi, it costs way more than, I don't know. Mm. So anyway, they, that was like a, a upgrade to our life. Just as much as this is an upgrade to our lives right now. Okay, 
let's check the timer. We almost made it to Makati. We are 16 minutes in from Alabang to Makati, which is very good. But what we want to do is to set a second timer to see how long it will take us from Makati to Quezon City because that is essential for us yes and essential for so many people so usually we would exit here on Amor Solo but now we're just continuing meaning okay so here it says Skyway ends in 400 meters but oh. it does not end Ooh. it continues <laughs> Four, oh. three, two, one. Yay! What? Quezon Avenue! Okay, so 137. Uh, beautiful skyline of Makati. Do you ever wonder? But so then you wonder. I roll like thunder. I'm only one, but got you outnumbered. I got an appetite. And nothing can satisfy. You wanna take a bite? And we are still on the skyway. It seems like there's no traffic. Very, very little. Very like little. Very flowing traffic. And this road is so smooth. It's so smooth. It's brand new. The camera new. is not shaking. So, super nice. And so quiet. Yeah. It's like almost silent. If, <laughs> if you wouldn't see like that we're moving, it would seem as if we were standing right yeah. now. Yeah. Wow. I'm seeing Manila from a whole new perspective. Okay, there's still work going on. Yeah. As of now, um, not all lanes are open, just a few lanes. But what's really cool is from today until the 14th of January, when it completely opens, it is actually toll free. Yeah. So that's wow. really, that's really good. I mean, this is it looks so cool, cool, right? It's so smooth. It's really nice. I really admire the, the, the skyline view. I don't know, but I think that the Manila skyline doesn't get enough, um, how do you say, appreciation. It's just so nice for me or for us to see it from this side and it's, it's a completely new perspective of um, the skyline of Manila. It's so fast, it's so smooth and um, if you are wondering why we are so excited about this, um, if you're not from Manila or if you're not familiar with Manila traffic, um, it's something that is super super uh, essential here yeah, it's a big something, part of life it's sitting it's a, in traffic you yes. spend so much time in traffic and like when a road like this opens up it just changes your whole the whole way you you live in the city because yeah. now all of a sudden it's not as much of a chore for us to go to Kizon city yeah and also if we want to go up north somewhere if we want to visit San Fernando or we want to maybe drive to La Union like this is cutting down more and more time about yeah. trips and um, Manila is known as one of the most traffic con congested uh, cities in the world oh my god oh, I can't say that properly <laughs> but uh, yeah it's such a huge part of daily commute to just sit in traffic for hours I know people who um, spend four hours five hours in traffic just going to work which is insane that is really crazy and um, I think this will make a lot of people happy <laughs> they can spend more time at home doing the things that they want to do in their free time instead yeah. of sitting in traffic okay I think we are whoops I think it's coming to an end I think we're in okay. Quezon City 28 29 minutes from Alabang so far and 12 minutes from Makati on Kezu, uh, exited. Exited. Kezun Avenue and this is going to be the new toll plaza 
Oh, wait a second, I know this building. Time wise, we have 32 minutes from Alabang to Quezon Avenue and 15 minutes from Makati. That is insane! 15 minutes from Makati to Quezon City, <laughs> I'm so happy! Like, not even on a day where there's zero traffic, not even on a Sunday at 5 o'clock in the morning could you do it in that time. No. I think the fastest we ever made it was maybe like 20 minutes but not even like all the way up to where we are now no. that's just like getting to i think rsa we have to go there which is not nearly as far as us this is mm. insane this is so awesome oh, okay. so we're just going to yeah we're gonna turn around and go back <laughs> go back to makati just 10 minutes we haven't heat, had we even had one little uh one little uh area where there was slight traffic because yeah. there were workers doing something so we could have easily done it in less even if yeah. you wanted to Wow, we haven't been here in a while. Yeah. Uh, we assumed that we incorrectly assumed that there's an Armor Solo off ramp if you're driving north down the new Skyway, but there is not. So uh, you have to exit Windy if you're going to Makati. Yeah. Hence, we took a short detour to Manila Airport. <laughs> it has been a while. <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. Well, I think we both are thoroughly impressed by Skyway Stage 3. Uh, congratulations to the SMC Corporation for making this happen. I think the construction started in 2014, wow. which is six years. But considering like everything that's happened between then and now, it's still like a great achievement to get this done in that time span. That's mm -hmm. awesome. That is awesome. Guys, let me know if you got, again, let me know in the comments down below if you had a chance to try out the stage free today already. Um, if so, let me know what you think about it. How will it impact your life? Yeah. How will it impact your life? That's I know, something that I'm super, super interested in. Yeah, I know a lot of, uh, I know a lot of you guys live in QC. So, I mean, QC to Alabang, 30 minutes insane yeah insane anyway if you enjoyed today's vlog be sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're new and we will see you guys tomorrow same time same place remember to stay awesome be positive and make it happen and drive safely bye bye